Welcome students of grade 10. My name is Ms. Nisha Bamfield and welcome to another session of Principles of Business. In today's lesson, we will be focused on technology development. Our lesson's objectives are to define a technological development, outline the stages of technological development, describe economic implications of technological development, and describe the social implications of technological development. Let us dive right in. What is technological development? Technological development is the technological change, or TC, is the overall process of invention, innovation, and diffusion of technology or processes. In short, technological change is the base on both better and more technology. The technology life cycle has four distinct stages. These are research and development, ascent, maturity, and decline. Research and development. During this stage, risks are taken to invest in technological innovations by strategically directing R&D towards the most promising projects. Companies and research institutions slowly work their way toward beta versions of new technologies. The ascent phase. This phase covers the time frame from product invention to the point at which out-of-pocket costs are fully recovered. At this junction, the goal is to see to the rapid growth and distribution of the invention and leverage the competitive advantage of having the newest and most effective product. The maturity stage. As the new innovation becomes accepted by the general population and competitors enter the market, supply begins to outstrip demand. During this stage, returns begin to slow and the concept becomes normalized. Decline or decay phase. The final phase is when the utility and potential value to be captured in producing and selling the product begins dipping. This decline eventually reaches the point of a zero-sum game where margins are no longer procured. Students, technology affects the way individuals communicate, learn, and think. It helps society and determines how people interact with each other daily. Technology plays an important role in society today. One aspect of technology that has had great impact on society is how it affects learning. The social implications of technological development. We are living in an era where technological advances are common. The internet and cell phones are some examples. However, with technological advances, there's a downside to it all. One aspect of technology that has had a great impact on society is how it affects learning, job-related functions, and or everyday lifestyle. It's made learning more interactive and collaborative. This helps people better engage with the material that they are learning or working with and otherwise may have had trouble understanding or applying. Technology provides better access to resources. With the creation of the Internet, it gives access to information at a 24-hour rate with access to almost anything online. In addition, it allows for any labor force to get work done easier. Employees become task efficient and very effective. It also expands the boundaries of the training rooms and offices, encouraging self-paced learning and job-related functions. People can access materials through YouTube and social media. This helps employees work and learn better than always having to seek higher management for advice. These technological advancements made working more fun and convenient. In addition, 
Technology has impacted society through communication, how we talk and communicate with each other worldwide. Technology brought many new methods of electronic communication. For example, there are emails, social networking, FaceTime, and video conferencing for conferences electronically. Lastly, the technological advancements that were made within the manufacturing industry have helped kept people safe from manufacturing hazards. The many innovate apps on phones allows for industry workers to view demonstrations of machinery use, its functions and operations, and how to service, disperse, or reassemble say. Studies show that mobile communication affects people in a negative way when it comes to being sociable and making face-to-face -face contact. Mobile technology can decrease communication and relations between people, employees and employees, employees and administration, and students and teachers. Less personal time. Where one find that they may not have enough time for self because they are always in contact with someone who needs attention, assistance, or to complete tasks. Also, it can be distracting from regular day-to-day -day pertinent activities. Loss of privacy. Because anyone can find the other person anywhere at any time of the day. In conclusion, all of these things impact how humans act today. Students, would you suggest that without technological advancements, our way of life would not be as complex and that technological influences shape the way humans act today? True or false? If you said true, that is correct. Here is something to think about. Great minds often tend to change the whole world with just one invention or the improvement of another. Ten inventions that have had the most impact on human society. Number one, the wheel. The wheel is often regarded as the invention that paved the way for all other innovations created throughout history. 2. The compass. The compass was used since the 14th century and still represents the navigation system for some explorers. Remember that without the compass, many researchers would never have reached their planned destinations and history would be totally different. 3. The printing press. Ever since the 11th century, there were ideas of a printing press around the world. However, the person that realized these ideas in an efficient way and made it popular was Jean Jutenberg. He did so in the 1430s. 4. The Telephone Since Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone, it has been regarded as one of the most useful tools to have at home. It simply lets us communicate with any other person in the world that also has a telephone. 5. The steam engine. None of the existing transportation method that exists would ever be possible if the steam engine hadn't been invented. Importantly, supermarkets and large quantities of foods, drinks, and clothes would not have been possible if it wasn't for this innovation. 6. Antibiotics. The invention of antibiotics was a huge step for medicine. It saved and is still saving countless lives by preventing the growth of harmful bacteria. Alexander Fleming is famous for discovering penicillin during the 1920s. 7. The Automobile 
During the 19th century, many people saw the vision for personal motor vehicles. However, it was not until Carl Benz Motor Wagon in 1885 that this vision was put to life. This being the first automobile in the world did not make it affordable for everyone. So, after some time, Henry Ford decided to improve the production process, which certainly brought the price down a notch. 8. Electricity If there is one thing that people can't live without today, it is electricity. It is without a doubt one of the most important things that make the era we live in. Just imagine a world without electricity. You wouldn't have TVs, computers, air conditioning, electronic lights, etc. That's a world I wouldn't want to live in. 9. The computer. With the advancement of electronics and semiconductors came the computer. Most of us spend a large portion of our day in front of a computer, whether for entertainment purposes or to work. And they are such complex machines that a large number of highly paid professions are based on only a few computer programs or the knowledge about just a small part of its software or hardware. 10. The Internet The Internet is the one thing that enables us to be connected to the whole world in real time. The whole modern world depends on the Internet, as it has the most impact on business, economy, politics, art, entertainment, communications, etc. It helps us to get our hands on absolutely any type of information we need. Now, students, let us turn our attention over to the economic implications of technological development. Technology has deeply affected the global economy and its usage has been linked to marketplace, transformation, improved living standards, and more robust international trade. So, if technology has virtually revolutionized every industry in the current global economy, why economists still question whether technology is visible in the traditional economic matrix such as the GDP, productivity, and corporate profits? Technological advances have significantly improved operations and lowered the cost of doing business. Currently, as an example, just a few technicians controlling robotic systems can operate an entire manufacturing plant, and innovative inventory systems are capable of supplying needed parts within a short time for assembly. Advancements in the computer industry, coupled with advancements in telecommunications, have increased job opportunities and strengthened economic growth. Manufacturing and consumer goods companies have developed online links to their suppliers and customers' support. Suppliers can keep track of production line efficiencies through automated systems and can more efficiently ship parts and materials to the required locations, reducing inventory and downtime. In addition to that, e-commerce and online banking capabilities have also helped reduce the cost of doing business. Given the fast-paced emergence of disruptive products and business models, as well as the transformative power of digital technologies on business and society, executives must become masters of the global technology economy. Being capable of detecting the economic impact of such fast technological changes and respond with similar speed and foresight. Companies are cutting back on an important investment that could create the next growth wave. And in many instances, that investment could generate huge leverage, helping to lower costs and expenses much faster than technology spending rises. But companies can only achieve that by managing their technology spending properly. To do that, senior executives require new metrics and new ways of thinking. In order to successfully navigate the technology economic scenario and leverage optimum business performance, executives must create, measure, and track virtual economic measures just as carefully as they follow metrics about the physical world. Technology has an amazing power to permeate companies. 
An important measurement of the technology economy is the observing the worldwide IT spending volume, which is regarding the corporate spending for hardware, software, data centers, networks, and staff, both internal and outsourced IT services. Currently, this volume is close to US dollars 6 trillion per year. On a more illustrative perspective, if we were to consider the global technology economy, a country and its yearly spending, its GDP, it would be ranked as the world's third largest economy between the economies of China and Japan and more than twice the size of the UK economy. Technology spending Gross margin and economic growth have a strong relationship when measured by productivity and GDP. A good example is that executives can predict with some accuracy the impact of the overall economy of a decline in technology spending. Whenever companies cut back on discretionary spending in order to improve profits during a downturn, they slash their investments in technology. Soon afterward, GDP falls dramatically, and within a few years, labor productivity across the economy falls, as technological innovation is an important component of productivity. Question. It is essential for companies according to market conditions and based on new forms of market data to A. Control B. Adopt C. Optimize investments in real time D. All of the above If you've indicated D, all of the above, that is correct. Students, it is good to note that technology has a huge influence on our economy, daily lives, and on our behavior. It can have a positive impact in some respects and a negative one in others. Students, we have come to the end of today's lesson. My name is Ms. Nisha Bamfield. Thank you for having me.